let's talk about gas forming reactions. There are four products that you have to have memorized when you do double replacement reactions. Having these memorized, you'll go, oh, that's a gas forming reaction. So I have all four up here for you. Um, and it's the product, it's the product that you want to have memorized. Here's our first one. So we have a sodium hydrogen carbonate, also called sodium bicarbonate, plus hydrochloric acid. Do the double replacement yields, uh, sodium chloride and carbonic acid. This is what you want to have memorized. Anytime you have a product from that single, or excuse me, that double replacement reaction, carbonic acid breaks into water, which of course is a liquid, and carbon dioxide gas, carbon dioxide gas. So you would rewrite this whole reaction as the sodium hydrogen carbonate plus hydrochloric acid yields the sodium chloride plus water plus CO2, and that is a gas forming reaction. Next, we have the sulfide. Check this out. We have a sodium sulfide plus hydrochloric acid yields uh, sodium chloride and hydrogen sulfide. Uh, remember, I'm not using an acid naming for this because it's a gas. Whenever you see H2S, this hydrogen sulfide, you're done. Automatically, you put a gas base on that. Double replacement, you have H2S as a product, it will be gas forming. So you're memorizing carbonic acid and hydrogen sulfide so far. Now, third one. I have a sodium sulfite, so SO3 two minus, plus hydrochloric acid produces our sodium chloride and sulfurous acid, H2SO3. Here's what you're memorizing. That H2SO3 is going to produce H2O plus sulfur dioxide, SO2. And there is your gas. There's your gas is the SO2. And of course the water gets the liquid. So again, rewrite this whole thing. Sodium sulfite plus hydrochloric acid yields sodium chloride plus, here's the trick, change sulfurous acid to water, liquid, and sulfur dioxide gas. Little reminder on naming, sulfite, I-T-E, if you add hydrogen to that, it becomes an acid. Um, sulfite, ite, it takes two of us to fight, the little saying I gave you, you change ite to us, so it becomes sulfurous acid. We do add a little syllable to it. Okay, last one that you've got to memorize is with ammonium. So I have ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide yields sodium chloride, and here's what you memorize. Ammonium hydroxide. When you have ammonium hydroxide, that is going to produce ammonia gas plus, oops, water, which is your liquid. Hey, little trick for you. The way I keep ammonium and ammonia straight is ammonia has one less hydrogen than ammonium, and let's see, three comes before four, so one less hydrogen, and A, ammonia, comes before M, ammonium. That's how I keep those two straight. Uh, so again, you'd rewrite this whole thing Ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide yields uh, sodium chloride plus ammonia gas plus water liquid. Uh, so again, the three, or excuse me, the four, you've got to have memorized. When you do, do a double replacement reaction, if you see these products, carbonic acid, let me write that out. Carbonic acid, if you see the hydrogen sulfide, if you have sulfurous acid, and then this last one, if you have ammonium hydroxide, those are your four. So put those on little study cards. If you get those four, one of those four on a test, on an assignment, rewrite them as a gas. You can rewrite them as a gas and they are gas forming reactions. Good work.